players, your tape players, if people are still into tapes, I am. I love the, type, the sound of this cassette. These are your DATs. DATs are okay. And then you have, now you have your Pro Tools, which is uh, good for recording and rewinding. And But to me, I, I still like the, 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 the old analog tapes, the 2-inch. If I had more time, I would bring in a 2-inch recorder. And I like when it rewinds and gives you a little bit of time to think about the mix. And while it's rewinding, you're going, hmm, what the hell am I doing? But this rewinds really fast, so you don't really have time to think. And uh, what else? What else? The generic big monitors, to me, they are not loud enough. I really usually like them really, really, really loud. So somebody, something like Westlakes or um, Tads would be my preference. But I'm blessed to have Genelix here. Thank you. Uh, and then that's your aura tone if you want to listen to everything mixed down on a mono just to see maybe where the voices are sitting in the mix and where the bass is sitting and just to get a reference mix of radio mix sort of a thing you mix down there for pleasure listening I go to the Genelix and for crude mixing I go to the NS10 and this is a really nice machine it's a reverb it's a lexicon reverb really old probably 25 years old and still sounds really really good i use it on a lot of stuff so today's session we got cellos we, we got a cello we got four guitars we got basses we got tablas and a drum kit and voices so it should be really simple really simple to mix it all down and we'll get cracking once we get the sound up we'll come back here and as we bring up sound we'll go through how we're doing sound for each of the instruments so you can get a behind the scenes look at how things are produced in the studio. This concludes our transmission. <laughs> All right, good deal. Yeah. Cheers, mate. This is Ben Zadig, and he's the DOP and, and head of camera and head of lights and stuff, so we're discussing how we want to do the lights. Yeah. <laughs> right, no worries. No, um, so you want to do a back from here and, and then the front is that, that's good enough? Well, with the lights that we have supplied for us, that's pretty much the best, well the best that I can do anyways, but yeah. um, it's going to look nice, it's going to look a little bit better than, you know, just by itself. But that one, just feel for you on that side, it'll be a little bit nicer in this direction as well, like maybe a little bit flatter from here, but it'll be mm. another cold temperature, a little bit warmer, if both of these were much, right. much bluer. So I this one, done, just for you, I'm going to give you like a slight edge yeah. back light. Uh, yeah, on that's side, great. Give it the edge. Yeah, but then also hopefully I can be able to actually light the Get girls. them to me, yeah, in one go. But yeah, I'm really interested in the in the pool focuses between the girls and between me and the girls and or any other players that you can just shell it if you Yeah. As shell as shell as you can get with these cameras, but I'll I'll try I'm my best. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'm sure you can try. No worries, so I'll start setting that up now. Awesome. Good deal. No that's my film school training. <laughs> okay. And the put more quarters in it. Can you just keep playing some time, please? Can you hit some toms? Like, oh, great. That's do rolls? I haven't done these things yet. <laughs> yeah. and Tom's like like a whole roll. Thank you. 